Hi, everyone. Hello. How we feeling? I know it's lunchtime. How's it? Is everyone eating, getting drinks, feeling good? Yeah? Well, fantastic. We're so happy that you're all here this afternoon. Uh, welcome to the inaugural LGBTQ plus luminaries lunch for the San Diego LGBT Community Center. I'm Evan Irani. That's right. We can give a round of applause. Absolutely. My name is Evan Nirani. I am a reporter and meteorologist with CBS8 here in San Diego. And so excited to be here. Wow. I've gotten to meet some of you guys out there, some of our viewers, and I'm so happy that you're all here. Um, more than that, of course, I'm also a member of this community. I grew up in Southern California and was very lucky to have parents and support systems here that championed me while I was coming out myself. So when the center reached out for me to be here to uh, help out, I was so excited to be a part of it because it felt like it was something that I could actually talk about. Um, not everyone has the same support when they come out. We know that. We know how vital this center is for those groups. And there are even some that would say a journalist like myself shouldn't be emceeing an event like this. After all, we're supposed to be neutral on all matters, left and right. So what level of queer visibility is appropriate for someone who's in the news? That's the question that some people ask. Um, I think my answer to that has changed a lot in the last few years. Visibility, speaking out, standing up for basic human rights has started to become a life or death issue when it comes to what we're talking about here today for so many. And as a journalist, my job is to be an advocate for our community, to hold truth to power and to hold the people in power accountable, uh, to be truthful, not to be neutral. And we talk about that a lot in the industry that we're in now. There are, there's so much media that we consume left and right. And our job at the end of the day is to be advocates for our community. And we know that in San Diego, uh, we have a lot of people who are looking for that support and to have their voices heard. Legislation and the larger movement around us feel like they are going in the opposite direction. Kids should have the resources that they need to live long and healthy lives and to not be afraid to be their authentic selves. Kids should have the resources they need to be seen and shown their value. Trans folks should not be left behind as we make progress for our LGBT plus community. There we go. It is a basic human necessity that we honor and take care of one another, but we don't see that happening on a national scale. So today, we are grateful for the strides that we've made along the way, especially here in San Diego, mainly thanks to the center. Uh, we are also, of course, grieving the losses that continue to endanger our brothers and sisters and everyone in the community. So it's this balance of grief and gratitude. We're of course so happy about the strides that have been made in this movement in the last decade and several decades, but at the same time, we are very cautious of what the future holds for our community. Uh, one of the best things that we can do here together like this is support the work that the center does. The services that they provide are crucial to moving forward with these pieces to enable everyone to live equal lives and have the support that they need, whether it be on the local level or the national level. Um, serendipitously, little twist of fate, my last name, Nirani, uh, actually means luminous in Arabic. And this is, yeah, exactly. It kind of fits for the event. I wasn't sure when, they, when the center reached out if that was why they reached out. I was like, did they know what my last name meant? I had some friends, some Indian friends who were like, we didn't, it's not luminous. It means he who is lit. And I was like, mm. I'll take it. I like that one a little better. But either way, we hope you all shine with us uh, this afternoon. I want to begin by acknowledging the land that we are gathered on here and the original people on this land whose descendants still make their homes here today. Uh, here in San Diego, we are gathered on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Kumeyaay Nation. This acknowledgement is only a small step to creating a more just world for everyone, but it's also a vital part in creating the world that we want to live in, where our history is not rewritten, but honored, where we don't forget about the past, but learn from it. Uh, the center is all about that connection, coming together to continue to advance equity for the LGBTQ plus community. We're a community of love and advocacy that has come to make the center one of the largest and most vibrant LGBTQ plus communities and centers in the country. So a round of applause for the center.
That vision and growth has benefited from the amazing leadership at the center. Joining us today in the audience from her parental leave is CEO, Kara Desert. Congratulations, Kara, on the newest addition to your family. Where's Kara? There we go, she's right over there. And joining me up here on stage to say a few words, Deputy CEO for the center, we have Kim Fountain.